welcome back to our new session so in this session we are going to learn about uh, how to plot sine cosine tan and cot um, so without wasting any more time let's begin if you are uh, currently watching this video without watching the previous videos i'll highly recommend if you watch the previous videos and then join this session because otherwise uh, the flow will be broken and uh, you will not get the hang of it so without wasting any more time let's begin so i'm currently in my scilab console so suppose uh, i'll not write this code in a file i'll just use the console to make you understand how it works so suppose uh, i'm writing here a variable named uh, x1 and just wait a second. Yes, I'm writing a variable named x1 and initialize, initializing it with a uh, number called uh, zero. Okay, and you can see here x1 is initialized to zero. And now, if I uh, write another variable, suppose and function suppose cos, um, and then I pass an argument as x1. So what will be uh, what <coughs> function it will perform is that uh, the cos is a function. If you are familiar with mathematics, you know what cos is. So co cos is a function which will uh, take an argument of value which is x one. So x one has been uh, initialized to zero. So cos zero will be stored in y one. Okay. So y one should return a value of one if I'm not wrong. But you know what, uh, this one, it is not in degrees, it is in radian, okay? So you will see uh, in the later part of the video how we can say that it is not in uh, radian, uh, rather uh, how it is not in degree, rather it is uh, stuck in radian. So suppose, uh, you know what array is in programming, right? So array is a collection of homogeneous elements. So in Scilab also, you can create an array uh, something like an array okay it's a very simple uh, suppose uh, i write here uh, suppose i change the value of uh, x1 i write here. x1 is equals to let's start with zero okay and uh, it will end on let's go with um, what do you say 2 pi that is 360 okay so the value of x will start from zero and end at 360 and I have written this column to make you understand that uh, this column separates these two values, 0 and 360. So the starting interval is 0 and it will end on 360. Okay. Uh, but what about the increment? How it will increment? Like uh, there, sh there should be a certain gap, right? We cannot uh, go from 0 to 1 to 2 to 360. It will be a very hectic uh, procedure. So we have to mention some kind of an interval or you can say a common difference. So the interval or the increment is, let's say 90, which is pi by 2. So what it will do is it will uh, take the values from 0 to 360, having an interval of uh, pi by 2, that is 90. So suppose the first value will be 0, then the second value will be 90. And then it will go to like, what do you say, 180 and then uh, 270 then 660 so it uh, it is supposed to store four values right so let's see five values are 0 90 180 270 and then 360 so this is how and um, you can see you can say it is more like an array so this is how an array works in scilab so or in least you can say so this part this part is the starting value this part is the ending value and this is the uh, increment. So we write it like this and this is the syntax. So where they are, th these three values are separated by uh, call only, you can see. Okay. So what we are doing is we are storing these values in X. We have stored it already. And now if I want to uh, suppose uh, plot a graph, plot a, a cause graph. Uh, so what I'll do is um, I will uh, let's go with uh, y1 okay uh, y1 plot function will plot that graph uh, uh this is not how we write plot mistake and then pass the argument of y1 
so what it will do is that uh, it will plot uh, y1 the graph of cosine uh, cosine but uh, we haven't initialized uh, y1 i think we have initialized it in uh, previously but with not with the current list that we have so we have to write here y1 is equals to um, cos of let's go with x1 okay so here you can see uh, it is printing the values of y1 so 1 0 0.044 and these all are in radian so if i plot it like this by using the plot function and passing the argument of y1 so this is not the um, cosine graph that we usually see because uh, let me fire up my browser here So the cosine graph you see is more like uh, let's, let's wait a second uh, graph. Let's go to images. You can see here the cosine graph is more like uh, this thing, right? I think this is visible. So because it is in radian, you will not get the perfect graph like this. But there is one way in through which you can get the perfect uh, graph uh, by turning those values of radiance into degrees. So yes, you can do that, and this is pretty simple. First, let me uh, my console, and if I write here, let me clear the screen. So clear uh, clearing this console screen is very easy. You can type here CLC and then bracket, so it will clear the screen for you. Pretty easy, right? So what you can do is you can write here x1 and take the list again or the array again, suppose 0 to uh, 360, that is 2 pi, and you take uh, an interval of 90. So up to this much, it is understood. Um, now what we'll do is we will write here y1 is equals to cos and d. d stands for degree. So we'll write here the function cos d. We'll use the causative function and then we'll pass an argument of x1 so what it will do is it will uh, turn the uh, it will take these values of 0 90 and 80 into radian while computing 0 uh, 1 0 minus 1 0 and 1 so you can see here so cos <coughs> 180 is minus 1 then 270 is 0 and 2 pi is 1 okay so if i uh, plot the graph right now it will uh, make sense make more sense now Remove everything and then try. Just wait. Um, what's this thing? Huh. So here you can see the graph is being plotted. So uh, from one, you see here minus one, and then you know one. So this is how you do it. Uh, it's uh, I think it's pretty easy for you to now plot a graph, uh, sine graph, cosine graph, or 10, or uh, cot, whatever it is. In the same way, you can do these things. And yes, so we'll uh, do some more interesting things. So till then, take care, uh, and I'll see you in my next session. So bye.